President Trump was in a really, really good mood today, even though his beloved stock market took a knee, which is uh, totally not his fault, because it's only him when it goes up. You know how it works. Uh, besides, Trump is still riding his State of the Union high. Did anybody happen to see the State of the Union address? Yeah. Right? Okay. So I got good marks. You're up there. You've got half the room going totally crazy, wild. They loved everything. And you have the other side, even on positive news, really positive news, like that, they were like death. It's very selfish. <laughs> and it got to a point where I really didn't even want to look too much during the speech over to that side, because honestly, it was bad energy. <laughs> no, it was bad energy. Yeah, folks, they hated everything about me. I've never seen anything like it. It was like I walked into a room full of Melania's. <laughs> look at Trump, man. He's having a good time, you know? And, and when you watch him, there are moments where you're starting to have a good time, but then he'll say something, and you're like, wait, wait a minute, what? They were like death. <laughs> and un-American. Un-American. Somebody said treasonous. I mean, yeah, I guess why not? <laughs> Can we call that treason? Why not? Sweet Lord, treason? You realize you can get the death penalty for that. Like, even Ivan the Terrible would be like, you killed them for what? <laughs> Bad vibes. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I've never seen a president throw out the highest crime possible like he was ordering popcorn at the movies. He's just like, yeah, treason, yeah. Like, he was like, should we get the butter? Yeah, let's get the butter. Let's get the butter, it's date night, and throw in the treason as well. Let's do it, yeah. Now, of course, there is another reason that Trump is this happy. Because last Friday, Republicans finally hashtag released the memo, right? AKA the GOP's much hyped report on whether the FBI abused its power to come after the Trump campaign. And since we're talking about the memo again, folks, that means it's time for memo combat. <laughs> So, after weeks of teasing, Donald Trump and the Republicans finally released the memo. And according to Trump, it accomplished everything that he said it would. President Trump claiming the Republican memo from the House Intelligence Committee that he declassified actually clears him. This memo totally vindicates Trump in probe, he tweeted. Now, to be fair, he doesn't say which Trump is vindicated. Yeah, <laughs> Tiffany could be totally innocent here. <laughs> And look, every, like, Trump has every right to be happy, right? He says this memo completely destroys the Russia investigation, which means that uh, Robert Mueller must be fired and also tried for treason. Why not? Yeah, let's try for treason. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Unlike Trump, some Republicans in Congress actually read the memo, which is why they didn't come to the same conclusion. Some Republican lawmakers, they're distancing themselves from the president, saying the memo does not undermine the Mueller investigation. Not at all. This memo has, frankly, nothing at all to do with the special counsel. I don't think it really has anything to do with that. The memo has no impact on the Russia probe. No, not, not to me, it doesn't. And I was pretty integrally involved in the drafting of it. Wow. Even Trey Gowdy, Mr. Benghazi forever. <laughs> he also says that this memo in no way exonerates Trump in the Russia investigation. Yeah, and he wrote the memo. It's like when J.K. Rowling reveals something about a character in Harry Potter. If she says Dumbledore is gay, then Dumbledore is gay. You can't be like, uh, actually, I read all the books, and I think he's, like, bi at best, okay? <laughs> no. Stop muggle-splaining, dude. But well, here's the thing, here's the thing. If you're truly devoted to the Church of Trump, then you know that the memo's true reason for being is to discredit the FBI, right? Which is why the words of the memo mean much less than the spirit of the memo. And this is a concept that no one understands better than Trump's archbishop of bullshit. As we have been explaining, this is Watergate times a thousand. Mueller's investigation is and has been a witch hunt from the very beginning. It's built on a house of cards, and tonight it is crashing down. And by the way, nobody else will say this, all charges against Paul Manafort and General Michael Flynn need to be dropped. It's that simple. Yeah, nobody else will say it because they'd all be embarrassed to look that dumb. <laughs> like, Hannity's the guy who walked out of the sixth sense going, my theory is that everyone is dead except for Bruce Willis. You with me? <laughs> nobody else will say it. <laughs> to be honest, 
I get why Hannity needs to act like this, right? He needs to act like this memo is everything MAGA fans hoped for, because everything in his Russia coverage has been leading up to this moment. This scandal, in the end, will make Watergate look like a parking ticket. This makes Watergate like stealing a Snickers bar. This is Watergate on steroids and human growth hormones at levels that would kill the average person. The average person, but not me. I know karate. Ah! <laughs> you know what? I, like, I see what happened here, man. Hannity thought that the memo would exonerate Donald Trump, and so he planned his entire show as a victory parade. But then when the memo was a dud, he just went on with the show. He did the opposite of what the Eagles fans did. Yeah. So basically all that needs to happen is uh, Eagles fans and Sean Hannity, you guys just need to swap. <laughs> Eagles, you won. So act like you won. Throw yourself a nice, safe parade. And Sean Hannity admitted, on this one, you lost. So you know what that means. <laughs> Dinner is served. <laughs> <laughs>